Two teacher unions want the president to indicate when all infrastructure projects in senior high schools will be completed to enable the abolition of the double track system. Now, the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, CCT, expressing their expectations in the State of the Nation address contend the members have actually been compelled to teach for more than six months without break. The Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, wants the president to indicate how infrastructural projects in the senior high school will be completed. According to the general secretary, any further delay will worsen the current precarious situation of the double track system. There are certain key staff who must always be there to ensure that the children get quality education. And these are people that have been teaching for the past six to seven months non-stop. How can you be teaching from morning around 8 to about 5 p.m. The whole week and weekend you are teaching, you are not resting. Are you a machine? No. President of NAT, Philip Alasson, asked the president to be emphatic on resource mobilization. That is high time government looked at the issue of the free senior high school. We should put all things aside and allow parents other stakeholders to support the free senior high school so that this issue of double track will be a thing of the past. Now children go to school for three weeks, one month, and come back to stay in the house for three months, four months. What exactly are they learning? At the end of the day, they'll be writing the same examinations. And these are the issues that we are looking at. The communications director of the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, CCT Ghana, Adokwe Awili, asked the president to be clear on accommodation for teachers. We are praying and hoping that now if government is to undertake provision of a classroom block, they should add accommodation for teachers as well. If it goes hand in hand, it will solve a lot of problems. That is why, because if there is a classroom, there is accommodation for the teacher. I think if you post a teacher to that place, he will be happy to even go. The teacher unions asked the president, Daniel Dodanque Kufuado, to indicate when their salary arrears will be paid. We are hoping, because it was the same March 2019 that was promised, mm. that everything would have been clear. Mm. But we are now, we have now been promised March 2020. We are in another year, the same thing. Mm. The package he has for teachers in the last year, being the four years of his ten, and the first tenure. So we want to hear something mm. about the kind of compensation he has, the arrangement he has for teachers, the package he has for teachers. Mm.